Hey guys, I'm Johnny, owner of Blazer Grass Lawn Care. Um, today, I want to uh, basically do an unpacking of the uh, new equipment defender racks. There are the V2. Now, full disclaimer, uh, these were purchased by myself, me, myself, and I, all three of us. Uh, my money, they did not send me this for free. This is my own racks. Uh, and again, giving you straight up, no garbage. Now. Uh, way back in the days, they did send me the uh, the first version, one of them, and I uh, I didn't like it, so I kind of just showed it, and and that was fine because to me, again, it wasn't uh, conducive to uh, the way I do things. Um, it wasn't it wasn't to my likings. The whole mechanism, everything wasn't to my likings. Um, I know that there are other racks out there, uh, other companies. I personally don't like them. Uh, so I saw these on the couple of videos from GIE and I did a lot of research, look at them, and I think that they will basically fit what I do and uh, the, the, the profile is extremely small and, and nice and tight and I have the two BR 800s which you know you'll have to uh, put inside those racks and, and I think that will greatly work towards what I am doing again not you me so I took it upon myself and I purchased two and those were purchased I want to say at the beginning uh, end of a little bit before Thanksgiving of this year uh, so you know they uh, so now uh, they came out and here we are I'm about to do a quick unboxing and oh by the way I took the initiative and I purchased another one for my open trailer so I will be carrying three uh, equipment defender uh, V2 racks and again my money my opinion okay just want you guys to know all right oh by the way big ups to brian lawn maintenance i utilize his code thank you brian and jason from ambrose uh i also utilize his code so hey guys if you guys are watching this video i kind of you know one of you guys got two hookups and the other one got one but you know it wasn't none personal guys i i love both of you guys channel and I believe in uh, sharing it man sharing it because you know don't worry about what people say yeah you trying to sell a piece of equipment believe me if the foot was on the other end everybody will be doing it as a matter of fact if you got anybody out there that want to send me some stuff and give me a code hook the brother up because I ain't got nobody giving me nothing yet hint hint all right enough about me enough about this it's three minutes and 17 seconds of me talking let's get to unpacking this rack and again this is one-handed on my phone let's move on all right guys first thing I'm gonna do is see uh, let me see where can I find my razor I had a razor on here oh there it is and oh let me block this this is my address all right so razor All right, so it's two of them guys and by the way man these things are heavy I think the box the weight on the box is like 74 pounds Jeez, hold on all right so two blow rocks ah. now let's put one to the side all right again guys bear with me this is one-handed here open it right here okay this is too heavy let me see if I can get it done with one hand here Oops. Ok, 
Okay. Cut. Cut. All right. We'll bring it up to the light. There you go. So I'm guessing what, 35 plus pounds, right? So this is a bar, another bar. Those are the little handle thingy. Pretty nice packaging. Everything is in here. Instructions, whole bunch of screws, levers. <laughs> and guys, I don't know the name of none of this stuff, guys. I just want to do a quick unboxing so you guys can see what it looks like. I know. Why do we do an unboxing video anyway, right? Uh, I'm just taking all these things out, guys, so you guys can see. I will put it together, but I'm not going to show you how I'm putting it together. I just want to do a quick unboxing video so you guys can see how it comes. At least you'll have a sense of what it looks like when it shows up. All right. There it is. Quick unboxing of the Equipment Defender Backpack Blower Rack, the V2. Okay, I guess second generation, right? Good. Here it is, the box. And here's the other one. Now, I'm not going to waste your time and show you piece by piece. Let me look at the uh, instructions real quick. Okay, it looks pretty simple. And it shows you step by step how to put it together. So what I'm gonna do guys is read this through, kind of look at it. And once I have it all put together, I will show you what it looks like. And all right, so this is instructions, this is the parts, and let's put it together. All right, guys, this is it. This is what it looks like. And it took me 20 minutes. It took me 20 minutes, guys, because I wasn't reading. I wasn't reading. I just decided to put it on together on my own. But you have to read. You have to read. You have to read. Just to ensure that you're doing the things the right way. Now, um, this piece right here is adjustable. I'll show you. There's nothing tight. I just got everything on. Nothing is tight. This comes up and it clicks. Clicks right there. You open this up and here are the keys. You lock it. And this is made extremely better than the last one. This is pretty heavy duty plastic. It's not as like the other one. So yeah, as of right now, I have the handbars on, but once I put it on my trailer, it depends on how it fits. You know, you have an option to not put this piece on. Okay, so let me show you real quick. Let me take this off. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. All right, go ahead to the side. And there it is. Now, I like the, 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 the profile. The profile is as big as my man all this noise all over the place everybody in the mama want to make noise huh okay so the profile is as big as my br800 so it's not giving me it's not taking more space than i really wanted to um 
I love that. This, you can bring it, you can close it in, you can open it up. <clears throat> now, once I get it set in, in my enclosed trailer, then I'll go ahead and tighten these up. Little things that you want to pay attention to, guys, when you thread this in, I would suggest thread it in first. You see, everybody wants to work around me. Thread this in first, and then take it out and put it in, okay? Uh, what else, what else, where, where did I mess up? Okay, this little piece right here, you notice this one have a little extended piece, and this one over here doesn't. Just make sure you put this one here first. I messed up. Again, it took me 20 minutes to do this, and I'm sure the second one is gonna be extremely quicker and faster. Here, I don't even have this tightened yet because I wanna get it in into the enclosed trailer first and see exactly where I wanna get it to. Same thing with the bar. There's nothing tight. Everything is just on, not tight. The only thing that I have tight is these bars right here. So everything is looking pretty good. All right, guys. Um, there it is. But I will be honest with you guys. When I first opened this stuff, I was like, oh my goodness, here we are with all this bunch of pieces. I hate pieces, you know what I mean? I wish the shit just came together, excuse my language. It all came together. But you know, again, it is more intimidating. I mean, it is less intimidating than it looks. <laughs> so all these additional parts. This is in case you have, a, oops, sorry. In case you have a smaller blower, what you do is you tack it on right here and this goes in that little piece in the back of the blower so they can't pull the blower up even though they can't pull it with this so it gives you that additional piece of uh, security it goes right here <clears throat> but yeah I'm extremely excited to put this together guys again simple but yet effective guys this thing I promise you I don't have well, I'm, I'm not gonna read the paperwork, but this thing, I promise you, this thing weighs about 35 pounds. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is a little piece of heavy. It's heavy duty, extremely well put together. And again, I'm not gonna review it until a year from now. All I'm doing is showing you the unboxing and how I put it together and what it looks like. <clears throat> and these are all the additional pieces that are left. Now again guys, the next time you'll see this uh, this blower rack is when I put my, when I make my video for my 2019 equipment setup. I'll do a, an enclosed trailer and an open trailer setup because I'll, I'll be pushing two trailers, two crews this, uh, <clears throat> this season. And again guys, I love purchasing my own stuff because I'm not obligated to one specific brand I purchase what I feel is best for my company I don't purchase stuff just because it is from one specific brand okay and everything that you see that I make videos on I use every freaking day you'll see me using it every day so I'm not a ghost uh, installer where you install stuff and next thing you know you don't see it anymore right <laughs> all right guys there it is right there Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. It was kind of, you know, I'm doing it on my, on, my, on my cell phone. So, all right, guys, enough of me talking. Pop Smoke, see you on the next one. Peace.